Hello friends, good morning and welcome back. Uh, <clears throat> today's session right in the Linux, uh, we're going to talk about some few commands. Uh, first, let's deploy the machine first. Uh, I'm going to launch the instance in Linux. So launch the instance. As usual, I'm going to select the Ubuntu here. So 16.04. So T2 micro and the one which we created linux videos right so i'm going to use the subnet one uh, add storage add tags name linux machine so configure security group we all have created in the last video itself but it's just like a review uh, launch <clears throat> launch the instances Okay, let it. It will take a minute, uh, less than a minute to deploy. So in this session, right, uh, we're going to talk about a few commands. Uh, first of all, we're going to talk about uh, dot bash rc, <coughs> a, a file uh, where it will run uh, whenever you start a machine, right? Obviously, this file will run, and we're going to talk about alias. Uh, how exactly we can alias to cut down your commands actually because if you have a long commands right what you can do you can create the alias it will be very useful especially if you are if you're running a long commands like kubernetes uh, 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 like docker so it will be very helpful to cu cut short your apart from that <clears throat> well, we are also going to talk about like uh, uh, directory creation directory or we are going to talk about our folder creation rather than saying creation and uh, deletion okay so apart from that we are also going to talk about folder permissions uh, i think uh, we're going to talk about these things in this video in the next video we're going to talk about uh, folder permissions okay so let's see if the machine is up and running okay so the machine is up and running so i'm going to copy this and linux videos is there and i'm going to launch it So I logged into the machine. So if you basically see this right now, I'm actually logged into the Ubuntu user. So I'm going to use sudo su hyphen. Okay. And I'm right now in the root. So if I exit again, I'll go back. And if I type who am I? So you can see that I'm actually Ubuntu. And if you use su sudo hyphen, now if I type who am I? You can see like uh, uh, I'll be. A root actually so the privileges are root privileges okay right so what exactly I told uh, we going to talk about something called as bash RC if I type PWD you see I'm in the root account if I type LS hyphen AL okay either you write uh, you type LS hyphen AL uh, short form actually if you type LL either way is fine you see a file called as bash RC okay so what exactly is bash rc it is something which will run when you uh, start the machine actually so what i'm going to say is uh, bash rc if i search for google right so <clears throat> here what is saying that what is the purpose of bash rc how it works okay so what will happen if you come down dot bash rc is a shell script that ba that bash runs whenever it is started interactively it initializes an interactive uh, shell session you can put any command in that file that you want to could type in the command from <clears throat> So to put in an easy way, what I can do is, uh, the best thing is we can use it. You can put the commands here, uh, here to set up the shell to use in your particular environment. Okay, let's put an example actually. Okay, now uh, imagine if I want to run, uh, if I want to see some users, uh, whether the user called, uh, uh, the, the user called something like cat etc and password cat etc password is where you can see what are all the users created in this machine okay if i hit enter i'm able to get this one i want to search for one particular user for that i'm going to use this command we're going to talk about all this uh, grep and everything later uh, but i just type this command now if you see it is saying where exactly if i use the grep command right it will show me where exactly ubuntu is there that lines will be displayed here now every time if i want to type this one it will be a headache for me so what i can do is actually here i can give something like this <clears throat> alias i'm going to give a space and i'm going to say simply uh, my my user you can give anything like here actually but i just giving my user equal to give a single quote 
and I'm going to copy this totally copy this and paste it here and hit enter okay hit enter so now what will happen is if I type something called my user right what will happen so you get it directly you really don't need to type anything okay so what the alias will do it will assign the whole command here to my user so anytime I write my user it will get me this one okay now what will happen is okay I really don't want to do this one uh, I want to give the username whichever I like right now if, if I am searching for my user right it will only search for Ubuntu so what I can do is alias I'm going to type something like okay let me okay alias uh, user2 or uh, check user equal to I'm going to give something like this okay so cat etc password grep hyphen i that's it i'm not going to give anything only grep hyphen i i'm going to hit enter next time what i'm going to do instead of giving ubuntu i can give any user to check so for something like check user shri it will check it no it's not there okay check user harsha it's not there but if i check user ubuntu it should be there see so what will happen so here whenever I type the check user what it is trying to do it is actually running this command so that is how you can get a big command make it shorter and use it like this but there is a problem here let me show it to you I'm going to duplicate this session okay so I logged in I'll again go to the root user now this is a completely different terminal okay that is a different the back one is a different terminal this is a different terminal okay so what i do is i'll say if you say my user right basically check it out it's not it's not saying that it's unable to find it actually similarly the one same right same alias we have used earlier so what i'll do is i use check user okay check user and i'll give like uh, ubuntu now it is a command not found so what is happening right now whatever we have configured here right the check you uh, alias right the alias you have created so what will happen is it is only right now in the memory so when I created a new uh, new terminal right what will happen is that will not be loaded because that is not saved anywhere so that's why it's saying that if I type my user or check user it is actually giving you error so how can we make it like every user who comes into the system uh, we can make it happen but for the root user we're going to use the file the bash rc so what i'm going to do i'm going to use nano dot bash rc so i'll open it okay if you open it so you'll get a lot of stuff here don't worry about it now what i want i want to go to the file there are two ways you can do that one you can actually scroll down like this <laughs> one by one by one the best thing is I'm going you can use uh, press the control press the underscore and then press the it is asking enter the line number column number press V you will directly go back last the last of the file okay let me show it to you I'm going to do it again so nano dot bash RC you are at the top you're going to control hyphen sorry no I mean uh, control hyphen means it's a it's, it's next to the <coughs> it's a left side of the plus okay so hyphen or minus and control again V so control minus and control V and you'll go at the last fine here we are going to give this one so I'm going to give copy this and I'm going to paste it here again I'm going to paste it for example the the Ubuntu the one the the <coughs> my user right I'm going to give like this okay so right now I'm going to type bash as our source just give source dot bash RC okay now what I'm going to do I'm going to close this one and I'm going to right click and I'm say duplicate the session okay now what I'm going to do if I type my user right you can see ah, what happened so uh, or 
check you oh sorry sorry i'm in ubuntu guys so that, that's the problem if you see uh, i'm i'm actually here in uh, here so <clears throat> some user so just go to the root because the bash rc is in that particular profile right so you you can't have here so what i'm going to do is now if i check uh, simply my user right you can see you're getting it right so similarly if i type uh, check user see it's auto filling if you see it i put check I hit the tab check you hit the tab it's auto filling and here i'm going to put a check three it's not there check it's not there if you see check ubuntu it's there so i can i can add the user for example user add three okay user add harsha now check it out check user okay three so you're getting it right so harsha you're getting it right this is how so this is how actually you can be able to create the aliases these are very very handy and let me tell you sometimes i need to run a command in kubernetes for it will be like this cube ctl get pods okay so hyphen o wide for example so what i'll do i'll going to put everything in a simple command okay simple simple like i'll put something like this i'll going to give alias <coughs> pods equal to just put like this so what will happen next time if i want to execute i'm going to save this i'm going to copy this again and nano uh, dot bash rc okay so i'll go down like this or control minus and v you'll get it here i'm going to give like this okay so this is how and control o for saving control x to come out so like this we can use the bash rc you can use the source and uh, dot bash rc it will run and it will be saved so it doesn't matter anytime root login back or in new your user also you can check it out so right now if i exit this uh, if i check it out like check user it will want to work <coughs> here so because if i say ls hyphen al you see it is having a separate bash rc okay if i cat and uh, if i check it out you see it will have a different bash rc so every profile it will have a bash rc so what will happen whenever you log in everything inside this one will run and will start working check it out i, I type ls hyphen al right what exactly is happening check it out this is the alias actually see la is equal to this will run like this so similarly so <coughs> if i type alias for example okay if i type simply alias it will show what are all the aliases are already configured here okay now what i'll do i'll go back so if something is in memory what happened is something like uh, alias uh, is equal to uh, sorry alias xyz equal to <clears throat> ls hyphen instead of ls hyphen al you need to give like this by mistake you have given something like la okay hyphen al it's a, it's a mistake you know that so because if you type xyz it is giving uh, what happened <coughs> yeah, i should have put lx actually fine okay so if i type xyz okay you are getting command not found so that means it's a mistake actually so what you can do is if simply un alias put xyz because it's still in the memory okay and if i type xyz basically it won't work so you can un alias as well but if it is there in the bash rc you can go back and remove in the bash rc and it will start working okay so uh, next is if you go here now next is we need to check it out how to create the user uh, sorry how to create the uh, delete the user actually because if you see we have created the user so if i go to cat etc and uh, password right you, you can check it out here so what you can do user del i can see like uh, three and you can also delete the user unnecessary you should not create the user harsha and if i type cat etc and a password it's no more 
this is how you're going to use the bash rc so uh, if the bash rc it's always better you actually have the backup of bash rc it's, it's fine because whatever you want to run when it is created right so let's do one thing uh, what i can do is nano go to the bash rc if you go inside you can check it out uh, there are some scripts also which are being created see something like this so if you see this is a script which has been run so there is a if statement which will be running so whenever you start it should work or i can also do something like this what will happen so let's see if i can able to give something like this i'm going to give <coughs> touch temp file one I'm going to give touch file one two three may or may not work but uh, duplicate the session okay ls temp see file one file two and file three right we have file one file 2 and file 3 so how exactly this file 1 file 2 file 3 are created that is because whenever you uh, whatever you put into the bash rc right when you log in that is like a startup script in windows so it will run and it will start creating whatever is there in the file so i have i have created this uh, touch right so file 1 file 2 file 3 in the temp so it is actually created this one that's why whatever you give inside the bash rc it will be executed when you log into the machine okay Next is we need to talk about folder and folder permissions guys. So what we'll do is we'll actually speak this folder and folder creation stuff in the next class. Okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, let's meet up the next class. Bye folks.